All right, folks, we're wrapping the last of it. I bet you I only got 20 bales left to go. That line right there is brand new. And uh, this one right here. I want to say it's uh, roughly around 70, 75 bales that were made today, but I need to do a, a count a little bit later. Uh, I've been kind of running and gunning. Please remember I got two hands here. Only two hands, I should say. Yep, reverse, Ben, reverse. Things are going pretty well. I uh, just changed out a uh, brand new wrap of film. That is a little time consuming. It's not bad. I got it down to about maybe a uh, five minute ordeal. Actually, not even. Not even. Yeah, that one hand business, that just doesn't work very good. Ah. Got to give credit where credit's due. The Anderson NWX660 extractor. Phenomenal job. Just goes off without a hitch unless it's operator error. Just a great machine, hell of a machine, but so simple when you really dig into it anyway. Dad's been relaying bales. It's only 3 p.m., which is awesome. Um, We'll be able to calmly finish this and calmly do chores tonight. Some of you can probably make that make some sense. Otherwise, you're just rushing, 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 and things just are getting done uh, the way you really don't wish them to. I simply finished baling, dropped my baler in the field, and uh, here we are wrapping. Just going excellent. These bales look fantastic too. Uh, I'm not talking about the shape of them, I'm talking about the moisture content, which was scaring me. They look really good. I meant to have somebody else out here to actually stand outside and take a nice video for you guys to see, but that just couldn't be done here today. So you're going to have to put up with a little bit of tractor operating. I swear I'm a good operator, but I guess I'm one of those guys that needs two hands to do it. Very pleased overall, everybody. I'm very pleased. I need to buy one of those wagons in the spring. In fact, I already got I already got one picked out. I was going to purchase it for this year, it just didn't happen. Um, it's a nice heavy duty, easy trail. I hate to be purchasing it, but I, I have to. It's, it's a necessity now. Um, easy trail 24 footer. I want to say it's 13 ton running gear. I could become pretty good at doing this one-handed.
folks, I want you to stay tuned. We're going to have a calm, uh, one of these, maybe even this evening. I doubt this evening. Um, but at the latest tomorrow, we're going to have one of those calm conversations uh, about the bail count to come off of here, how I feel about this, that, the other thing. And um, somebody corrected me on a comment not long ago, and I'm, and I'm gracious that you did. I had set out to do a, uh, a pros and a cons video after first crop, and I, I didn't do it. Uh, I have no excuse why. I, my excuse is I guess I forgot. But uh, that would make a very healthy, healthy video to do a... Uh, the pros and the cons because there's uh, there is a little bit of both then I can share with you my experience and uh, what I see for the future I'm also going to share with you why I'm doing this I don't think I ever really got into it in depth um, I'm going to give you my two cents on why this was done And uh, thus far, it actually kind of feels nice to win once in a while. When I explain to you what I'm wanting to do, what my goal was, you'll understand what I mean. As far as I'm concerned, this has been a success. But we're going to get in that on a, uh, a nicer little calmer video. You can really mess something up in a hurry there. You better you better be a little careful. Folks, appreciate you staying with me. This series is not over. It's going to end with a, uh, a finale video of uh, sitting down and doing a little jaw jacking. So, folks, we'll talk to you sooner or later. I've got to get going.